Hey guys and girls, welcome to this video. And today, as soon as I woke up, I heard this news that all the Windows computer are down and my father informed me this. I was really shocked. So I actually checked the details. And in this particular video, I'll tell you everything that I know and everything that I researched and why this outage happened uh, to the Microsoft Windows uh, computers. And we'll be, we'll be seeing everything about it. This cybersecurity company called CrowdStrike. And this is a company which provides security to a lot of these companies. I think a lot of Fortune 500 companies and this is very very famous and uh, they have a lot of products so out of that there's one product called falcon which is being used in a lot of these computers and they use this falcon uh, and this basically detects for any uh, cyber security attacks any breaches or anything like that and this basically creates a report and uh, gives it to the companies so that they can mitigate it yesterday what happened was crowdstrike pushed an update to, to its falcon to its, to its to its one of the product called falcon and it pushed an update uh, and that was a kernel update so that basically caused it to crash and once that crashed all the windows pc throughout the world has crashed including all the hospitals all the uh, airports there is long lines in the airports which is going on and you know it's extremely devastating for the entire world so <clears throat> i would like to explain you a little bit of the technical aspect of how this actually failed what happened uh, is generally you have antivirus softwares, right? Like Norton, NordVPN and all those things. Not VPN, sorry. You have a lot of these uh, uh, antivirus software. They work after you boot up, boot up your computer. But uh, for the companies, the security matters a lot more than this. So they, uh, so Falcon, what this Falcon does is this, is this operates on kernel level. So from there only it tracks everything and makes sure that the computer is not attacked by any of these uh, bad vectors. So this this kernel, uh, you know, the, a file a, a update was pushed to this kernel, which was having all zeros. I think their build process or something crashed, must have crashed. But I have a very really really weird uh, problem. I, I think it's very weird for all of us because you know if you have a single point of failure for the entire internet, that update should be well tested. I don't know who pushed it and without checking the final output of that compiled system. By the way, I would like to show you the tweet which the CEO of uh, CrowdStrike gave. So CEO of CrowdStrike basically tweeted this uh, as soon as the uh, CrowdStrike happened. I mean, this incident happened. So they they said CrowdStrike is actively working with customers impacted by def uh, impacted by a defect found in single content update of windows host mac and linux uh, host are not impacted this is not a secure a cyber security uh incident or cyber attack a lot of guys even my father you like you know he informed me that there's a cyber attack and i was also very very curious but that's the not that's not the case as clearly mentioned by george the ceo of crowd strike he has mentioned that uh this is not at all a cyber attack there is no cyber attack. this is a bad update put by their team uh itself next is we have uh, we referred customers to the support portal for the latest update and will continue to provide complete and continuous updates on our website we further recommend organizations to ensure they are communicating with crowdstrike representatives through official channel our team is fully mobilized to ensure security stability of crowd crowdstrike customers so as you can see this is is what it is this is very weird to get an update so because if if i go ahead right if i if i uh if i look at other, at other tweets which he, he did after this right is like uh there's no technical explanation of what happened this is pretty weird also a sorry would be quite amazing which he said by the way in a lot of interviews but here also it would have been good this is a very very big outage now let's talk about the mitigation what should what has to be done in order to fix this so here is here is a here is one of the explanation on how to mitigate this issue by yourself. But for uh, like all of these issues is highly technical. You'll have to open your terminal and then do certain stuffs, and then only you can mitigate this issue, which I don't think so for a lot of business guys, for a lot of non-techie people, it is very, very possible. I think in the long run, there will be an update where there will be some pen drive or there will be some, some kind of physical uh, update, right? Uh, will be given and then the issue could be finally updated so you, so you can see this is what this is like the current option so there's two things right if you are using uh, you know some encryption systems like uh, you know i think uh, bitlocker or something like that then it becomes way harder because just imagine what happens by the way bitlocker is used in a lot of windows computers almost all which is like if you're concerned about security and all so what happens is it it fetches the it's so your entire hard disk is, in, is encrypted and it fetches a key when you turn on the computer and then it decrypts the drive but here in this case as you can see the computer itself is not turning on so this doesn't make sense 
so then the solution is you'll have to have a second computer uh, through which you'll have to get those keys into a, into a long command into the command line boot into the safe mode and then only you can medicate this issue so let's let's see a little bit about over here so uh, steps for public cloud or similar environment uh, you know including virtual machines so what you have to do is you'll have to detach the operating system disk volume from impacted virtual server create a snapshot or backup backup and then basically uh, attach and mount the volume to the new virtual uh, server navigate to whatever this file is and locate this particular sys file and you will have to delete this sys file then detach the volume from new virtual server reattach the fixed volume to impacted virtual server so these are the these are very very technical and also like this is for something like a cloud or a, a similar environment right virtual machine let's look at the other solution so option tool uh, roll back to snapshot before uh, 0409 utc so you'll have to go to any any like if you roll back to this before any this time that's completely fine because uh, the update came after this then steps for azure series and they have like so basically in short the idea is log in into safe mode uh, go to your command prompt type some command delete this file called uh, uh, this file which is i don't know some zeros 291.sys file delete all these files and then you finally have to reboot your system i think for a normal user doing this it will be very very hard so <clears throat> that's the update so far and i guess uh, there is you know there is people are saying i think you missed the sorry in the long read yes this is the case and i think there should not be this kind of single point of failure for 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 the entire internet there should be checks and uh, uh, things like that in place so that was the entire entirety i'll be updating you guys if i found any new information on this or if there is any updates uh, thank you guys for watching and bye bye